Since I was a boy, I've had an infatuation with the tomahawk. Probably because of ancestral history, or maybe just the primal instinct that comes out when you put a tomahawk in your hand. I have prayed to the angel of the tomahawks, and sure enough, he has answered. Let me introduce to you Wingard Wearables. My buddy Zach at Wingard Wearables hand makes these beautiful tools of war and sends them to the public for a, in my opinion, a great price. I am absolutely in love with all three products that I have of his. I just wanted to share the, to the world my first impressions and the unboxing of these three tools. I hope you guys enjoy. I have not been this freaking excited to receive something in the mail. And this box is literal handmade magic. Okay, let's open it. I've been waiting a very long time. Oh, it feels like a very long time. It's been like five days to open this thing up. Let me get you guys a bird eye view. All right, boys and girls, probably just boys, because I don't think girls are into this type of stuff. God, it feels like Christmas. Oh, look at it, look at it. Ooh-wee. Oh, God. Look at this freaking beautiful. Oh, my God, I'm in awe. This is the Stingray from... Wingard wearables. Oh God. <laughs> oh, it's just, I'm in a loss for words. I don't know if I'm drooling because of my braces or because of this tool. <laughs> Look at this. My buddy Zach at Wingard wearables hand makes these, hand stains them and burns them with the file to create this like pebbly filling. This is called the Stingray. Just absolutely amazing tool. This is actually made for throwing. So this dude is just simply a genius when it comes to, to these types of tools. So he did all the trigonometry on this guy to make sure that the odds of it sticking with the blade side, the pick side, or the handle side. And this is made out of hickory hardwood. This freaking wood is beautiful. It smells good too, but uh, if it sticks in the handle, it'll stick into whatever. And I mean, obviously the blade, the blade is super sharp. And this has a some sort of chisel tip on it. Let me see if I can get it. There you go. Has a chisel tip and it is pointy. This thing is sticking anything. It's also made to be concealed in the waistband. This is a first impressions video. I'll go ahead and do a longer deep dive into these and I'll try these on. I'm actually gonna go and wear them. We're gonna take off here in a little bit, but I'm gonna wear them. That way I can have some say so what it feels like to wear these things. God, I love it. Okay, there's something really cool in here. Ooh, -wee, look at this. This is the Empress. The Wingard Wearables Empress. This is not made to be thrown. It's just straight up meant for violence. <laughs> this thing is freaking awesome. Look at that. Damn. Zach, you are the man. So, Megalodon Tooth to completely just annihilate whatever comes in its way. And this is curved to contour with the body. Wow. This thing is freaking way better in person. I've been watching and watching and watching every single video about Wingard wearables. <sighs> My just breath is taken away with these things. Zach, seriously, dude, good job, man. I am 
thoroughly impressed. So this is also meant to be concealed. Nice, dude. Very nice. So, has the Kydex covers or plastic covers and alligator clips that clip inside of your pants. And then you simply pull this out and boom, you got you a concealable tomahawk. Freaking awesome, man. Okay, this is the third, the third item from Wingard Wearables. This is freaking awesome, man. This is the dick pic. The Wingard Wearables dick pic. It looks like a Grim Reaper scythe. Oh my God, look at the tip on that thing. Let me get a close up of that. <laughs> freaking cool, man. Wow. So this is the dick pic. This is meant to be a another concealed weapon. Or a tool, really could be used as a tool. I, I actually have thought of a lot of uses for this thing and I could have used it a lot today. With this thing, you could use it as a tool to prick, poke, or just tear some stuff apart. You could also use it to pop things open. I could see a very big use in that. Man, what a, a mess. I'm literally speechless, Zach. Good job, dude. Seriously. So this is a first impressions and an unboxing. Just wanted to share with you guys the amazing talent out there. Now with it comes these. Oh, he really did. Okay, so in everything that I have seen on, on YouTube about Zach's company. So he handwrites all of the notes that come with the tools. I'll read them out to you guys. I'll also get a picture of them. Dear Nick, your Stingray Tomahawk, Tomahawk's 5160 steel head was cast in Monette, Missouri. The handle and wedge are straight grain hickory from Pennsylvania. Your Stingray was designed and finished in Landenburg, Pennsylvania. Be edgy! <laughs> Zach with Wingar wearables. Throw fast and avoid flatwood targets, boards, saw tree rounds due to high risk of dangerous bounce backs on handle impacts. Try either foam targets or vertical tree trunk style targets. Man. And once again, this is the Stingray right here. <laughs> I am so happy I could cry. God. I've literally been anticipating this since the ship the shipment date was sent to my email address i'll get pictures of these so you guys can see it well i am just simply impressed dear nick your empress tomahawk is cast from high strength silicon bronze in lancaster pennsylvania the handle and wedges are straight grain hickory from pennsylvania your empress was hand finished in landenburg pennsylvania best of fortune if you have any questions or issues, please contact B Edgy. Every time I see that, I just hear, I, I, I can hear you, Zach. B Edgy! <laughs> You're my favorite, dude. The Empress by Wingar Wearables. Front piercing blade, let me see, let's get some, let's get some context, okay? Front piercing blade is streamlined for penetration and extraction in flesh and bone-like material. Resin fills space between inside and eye, and inside of eye and handle to eliminate gaps. Handle, I'm gonna get a picture of this too, guys. My God. So this was pretty much made as, it's, it's, it's emulating a shark. So you get the shark tooth and the scarred gill lines for texture and shark-like aesthetics. Beautiful, dude. Beautiful. We're gonna call this Megalodon. Our Stingray, I don't know. I don't wanna really call it Stingray because it looks like a Stingray if you look at it like this. But it also looks like a tomahawk. woodpecker. A tomahawk, you think? Yeah. <laughs> My son says it looks like a tomahawk. I think it looks like a, a woodpecker looking at it like what? this. What do you think? You think it looks like a bird? 
No. No? I think it does. So we'll call it the Sting Pecker. Do you think I should call it the Sting Pecker? No. <laughs> Alright, ladies and gents. So, once again, we have the Empress Tomahawk, the Stingray, and the Dick Pick. Just simply freaking amazing Dad, craftsmanship. Why is that called a dick pick? <laughs> That's what he named it. <laughs> but what kind is that one called? That one's, that one's a SOG. What are your favorite out of all these? What do you like the most? This one. Yeah, the Stingray? Yeah. Nice, dude. This is meant to throw. That is? Mm-hmm. Could you? I thought you were actually going to throw that. I am going to actually throw it. Where? So, I have seen in videos, a lot of guys are scared to throw these, but in my eyes, I don't get a tool unless I'm going to use it. And I mean, yes, throwing a $300 tomahawk might sound a little wild to people, but in my eyes, even though it's a $300 tomahawk, I feel like it'd be doing Zach and his company a disservice to be using his tool the way it was designed for. Really, any tool for that matter, any tool that's designed for its use needs to be used as such. I will do a long form video. So make sure you guys are subscribed and I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks for tuning in.